A technology called Neuralink, which Elon Musk founded in 2016, aims to link your brain to the internet. No, this is not a drill or fiction. Neuralink is developing a brain-machine interface with extreme high bandwidth to link people and computers. To know more about it, please stick around to the end of the video to get the full picture. A brain-computer interface themed The Link, which is a surgically implanted neural chip implanted intended to decode and stimulate brain activity, is being developed by Neuralink, a company that Elon Musk launched in 2016. Although Neuralink has only conducted animal testing thus far, Musk has been working on the company's objective of using implants to connect the human brain to a computer for five years. The business came under fire in 2022 when a monkey was used in an experiment to assess the animal's ability to play Pong, one of the earliest electronic games, and the animal tragically passed away. Walter Isaacson, the author of the new book on the inventor of Neuralink, stated that Elon Musk was motivated to seek a human-machine interface technology called Neuralace that is implanted into people and can connect all of their thoughts to a computer by science fiction writer like Ian Banks. The link is the name of the implant itself. This brain chip, the size of a coin, is surgically inserted beneath the skull to collect input from neural threads that branch out to various brain regions to regulate a subject's motor abilities. According to Neuralink's website, each wire has 1,024 electrodes, which are sensors that can record and emit electrical currents. They are so fine and flexible that they can't be inserted by the human hand. Neuralink has created a neurosurgical robot that can operate entirely on its own account. The business is also working on an app that would let users use just their thoughts to control a keyboard and mouse. Our brain activity is recorded not only when we act, but also when we merely consider doing. That being said, mind reading is not the same as the brain-computer interface performed by Neuralink. The company's primary objective, according to the Neuralink website, is to assist those who have been rendered paralyzed in regaining their lost control communications. Its future goals include treating neurological conditions and regaining motor sensory and visual activities. Brain-computer interfaces, according to Alcade, can monitor brain activity and identify challenges that might be indicative on neurological disorders, including epilepsy or bioorder disorder, obsessive-compulsive disorder, Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. They can also be used to track symptoms related to mental health, as a treatment for burnout, exhaustion, anxiety and depression, which unlike motor abilities that are localised to one place, are disseminated across the brain. Electrical stimulation might be applied to specific areas of the brain, according to Norman. Though real-time biobatic and other feedbacks, this technology can also help people train their brains to become more focused, attentive and able to recall information. According to Musk, the link has all the sensors you'd expect to see in a smartwatch, making it something like a Fitbit in your skull. Neuralink tweeted in May that it has FDA clearance for conducting human clinical studies, and the agency subsequently recognised a clearance in a statement. Human trials will begin once more in a month after the BrainClip startup raised $280 million in a funding round headed by Founders Fund, a venture capital firm based in San Francisco and founded by controversial billionaire Peter Thiel, who was also a co-founder of PayPal. Musk had predicted that the startup would conduct human trials at least four times since 2019, but the company didn't apply for FDA approval until 2022. According to a March Reuters article, the agency rejected the application at that time, citing safety concerns about implant fragments moving to different parts of the brain and potential damage to brain tissue if the devices are removed. Musk stated that Neuralink has filed most of its paperwork to the US Food and Drug Administration and may start human testing in six months during a recruitment event in December. Neuralink's brain implants must receive regulatory approval before they are made available to the general public. The FDA noted that the field of brain-computer interface devices is progressing rapidly in a document published in 2021 that outlined the agency's preliminary ideas in this idea. On May 25, 2023, Neuralink declared that the US Food and Drug Administration has approved its application for an in-person clinical trial. Although they haven't started accepting applications for the trial, the firm said in a tweet that they would announce more information on this soon. Only rats, mice, monkeys, sheep and pigs have been used in neural implant testing thus far. But with the human experiment under progress, that could soon alter. To be qualified to take part in the upcoming Neuralink clinical studies, individuals need to possess US citizenship or maintain permanent residency in the country, be the legal age of a majority in their state and at least 18 years old, possess alphasia, the inability to communicate, quadrupedia, parapedia, vision impairment or blindness, hearing impairment or deafness or any other combination of these, and possess the ability to agree to participate. Individuals taking part in the trial will need to have an extensive brain surgery. The goal of Neuralink's brain implant project is to enable individuals with profound paralysis to operate external devices through neural impulses. This impulses those suffering from severe degenerative diseases such as ALS may one day be able to use their minds to type and purse curses without the loved ones. 
The Developing Field of Brain Computer Interface, or BCI, includes Neuralink, BCI systems, brain impulses, and convert them into as commands. Many businesses have created intriguing systems that they intend to commercialize, but Neuralink is arguably the most well-known brand in the field because of Elon Musk, CEO of both SpaceX and Tesla. Although it did not reveal further information, the FDA stated in a statement that it had given Neuralink permission to deploy its surgical robot and brain implant in patient studies. Employees at Neuralink stated that they are under pressure from Musk to get FDA approval. The company was hurrying and botching surgery on monkeys, pigs and sheep, killing more animals than needed. What is happening right now is that Elon Musk's contentious biotechnology startup, Neuralink, began accepting applications for its first human clinical study. Neuralink announced that as part of the PRIME study, it will start providing brain implants to patients with paralysis following approval from an impartial review board. The precise robotically implanted brain computer interface, or PRIME, project is being conducted to assess the implant's functioning and safetyality. A chip will be surgically implanted in the area of the brain responsible for motor intention in trial participants. Those who have quadriplegia as a result of either ALS or cervical spinal cord injury may be eligible for the six-year study, which consists of 18 months at home and clinic visits followed by five years of follow-up visits. On the Neuralink website, those who are interested can register as patients. According to Norman, the fundamental technology of Neuralink functions similarly to electrophysiology. Our nervous system electrical and chemical messages ignite when neurons connect with one another through synapses, which are openings between nerve cells, electrodes, or voltage-detecting sensors. Record this brain activity by measuring the shift in spikes that occur when these voltages fire potentially fire. Possibility that Neuralink could harm or brain tissue is one of the primary worries. The sensitivity of the human brain means that even a minor injury can result in a permanent harm or even death. An increased risk of Alzheimer's disease in later life may arise from improper placement of Neuralink, which might cause infections and inflammation of the brain. Neuralink's ability to breach people's privacy by capturing and reading their memories is another issue. This implies that anyone with access to the chip, should it be implanted in your brain, will be able to read your thoughts and see what memories you have. Governments and private businesses might also use it to track people's thoughts and behaviours without their knowledge or agreement. People will become addicted to superhuman skills if they can access them through a brain-computer interface. They can feel like they are not living up to their full potential and lose interest in real-life situations as a result of such a potent experience. People with this kind of addiction may experience depression due to their inability to reach their full potential and may consider suicide if they are unable to use their brain implants once again. What do you think of this technology? Is it a boon or a bane? That's all for today. Hope you liked today's video. If you are interested in learning more, check out other videos on the channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also give us a thumbs up. Until the next video, bye.